tell me the stuff you teach is a real high, man. It can be. That's not the reason for it, though. Yeah, well, what I gotta do? Relax and let go. That's the hardest. <laughs> and this dude told me you teach them to sit on the floor with their legs crossed like jacks, huh? It's not necessary. The important thing is just to relax and to breathe deeply. Come on, man. That gonna get me high. Low. Lower than you've ever been, Sam. Deep inside you. To the ground of being. Your being, Sam. All being. <laughs> Ooh, you are crazy, man. And all them cats you've been teaching is crazy. What are you here for, then, Sam? It seemed like it helped all them other dudes. But they, they tell me you, you leaving here today. That, that's straight? Yes. And what in the hell are you fixing to teach me in that time? Nothing. You teach yourself. That's what it's all about. You don't make meditation happen. You let it happen. Insight, stories of spiritual conflict in the 20th century. There are only two types of human beings, Pascal tells us, those who have found God and those who are looking for him. Where do we find God? In nature, in books, in other people? in the depths of ourselves. Hi, bye. How are you? Good to Hi. see you, love. Mm -hmm. Bye, I want you to meet Barbara Dean. Hello, Barbara. Your taste is as lovely as ever. It's a wonderful dress, darling. It's so simple. Now, you all know where the bar is. <laughs> Good to see you, love. Mm. You've got a lot of catching up to do. What do you have, honey? Hmm? A Coke? Okay, Scotch. Yeah, all right. Hey, Harry, how are you? Good to see you, huh? Yeah, yeah, good. Hey, there's Mark. He must be back from town. Mark who? Mark Heston. He's a VP. I a want what? you to meet him. Up Intercam, the company I'm the lousy publicity director for. Come on. Hi, honey. How are you? Huh? Good to see you, love. Huh? Hey, Mark. Mark, when did you get back? How long are you in town this time? Oh, well, <laughs> it's time to change drinks. Uh, I'm leaving for Frankfurt in the morning. Mark, I want you to meet Barbara Dean. Barbara's a model doing one of our layouts. Listen, take good care of him while I go get her booze, all right? Pickle? No, thank you. Um, are you a chemist, Mr. Heston? No, I'm basically a lawyer. I'm kind of a chemist. I'm uh, kind of a doctor. I'm kind of a lot of things, including kind of drunk. A doctor? Oh, that's what I want to be. But everybody says it's so silly for a girl. Do you know that in spite of women's lib, all you can get to be is a, a gynecologist or a pediatrician? Mm. Well, still, I wish I could try. It's nice that you still have something to wish for. Are you really a doctor? I started out to be. I was going to be a healer, you know, and probe the secrets of life. But I met a few doctors, and I found them as hung up as everybody else. So I switched to law. Well, I decided that law, at least, can change things. Oh, you're so right. I mean, you know, any real political or social action is done by lawyers. Lawyers administer a complex ritual by which human beings can attack each other in a manner less dangerous than war. And less exciting. Very, very bitter. There you go, love. So I guess our local booze doesn't agree with you since you've been traveling so much. You so you want some grass? No. What's the difference? Oh, glad to know I'm not missing anything. I've been kind of scared to turn on. <laughs> None of it supplies anything. It just turns you off, like sleeping pills. It's not nearly as effective as suicide. That's the ultimate trip. Good choice, Webb. She should sell a lot of product. Is he really that unhappy? Come to think of it, every time he really opens up, it comes out that way. It's terrifying, really. When you stop and think about it, there's a guy who's got it made. Big salary, unlimited expense account, travels everywhere, top management. In a year or so, he'll probably be on the board of directors. I mean, if he's not happy, what chance has anybody got? 
Should have been a doctor. Listen, uh, Mark, you uh, made a very big impression on Barbara. <laughs> an impression? Yeah. Listen, she's not really my date, and if you dig her, why, uh, I can make an arrangement. Did you ever consider, Webb, that you might take public relations a bit too seriously? Oh, now, come on. Don't get uptight, baby. It's just a friendly offer. I'm sorry. It's all the travel. They say you never get back on your real time. That's what I am, a time traveler. Do you think it'll be any better when we get up there? Do you think it'll be any different when we reach the stars? Well, we won't be alive to know it. And the way they keep cutting back appropriations for NASA, we won't even get to the planets. We are losing a lot of jobs that way, too, believe me. You're right, Webb. The proper study of mankind is money. <laughs> we live in a glorious country where our voyage to the moon, man's most magnificent step forward since he waddled out of the ocean, became a television vehicle to sell gas and breakfast food. The stars are not the windows of the angels. They're real estate for future development. You don't see God's hand beckoning up there. It's a fascinating reaction. I'm sorry, I was, uh, I was at a party in the village last week and uh, I took a new kind of acid and it scared the hell out of me. When you said that, it reminded me of... Of what? It was strange. Uh, everything was out of control, you know? I was... I was out beyond the earth, and the stars were all around me, and I... <laughs> I started laughing and thinking, I must be in heaven, and... Then there was like a, a darkness, a cloud. And I knew that when the sun came out, it would burn the cloud away, and I... I'd be able to see God. And that scared the hell out of me. I started praying, please, please don't let the sun come out. Don't let the sun come out. And everything started getting brighter and brighter and brighter and hurt my eyes and, and it was like, it was like burning into my brain. And then the cloud, it didn't go away exactly, it kind of, and then I thought, now I'll be able to know what God looks like. But I didn't see God. I saw my own face stretched out a billion miles across. And it was like I was dead. Waxy. Like I said, it was strange. Where did you get this stuff? I had a party from a friend in the village. Take me there. been three weeks now. You refuse to talk to anyone on the phone, to see anyone, not even the attorneys? I don't have anything to do with that anymore. Baby, you have got a contract. And all those deals you're on top of, you can't just back away and walk off. Now, you're a lawyer. You know what can happen, you know. Oh, man, oh, man, I have seen guys freak out. I'm sorry I turned you on. I have never seen anything like this, believe me. You don't understand. I'm in control of this. I'm using it. It's not using me. I've improved the stuff that you gave me 100%. There's a fullness here. I've almost got to it. You were right about God being behind that dark cloud. You just didn't have the guts to go and look for him. Aren't you afraid it might kill yourself with that, aren't you? I'm going to break free to live. Let me try some of that. It's not for kicks. Kind. Let me try some. If it's that good, let me have some. I'll give you 20 milligrams. It's enough to start with. I'm up to 60. It's almost got me through. I'm using the same techniques we used with the rockets. More power, more thrust. There's a barrier somewhere. It's a force. I don't know, maybe analogous to gravity. Thank you. 
What do you think's on the other side? Huh? The guy with the beard? I'm going to find out. Webb, throw it out. It's no good. What are you talking about, baby? <laughs> it doesn't work, Webb. I, I thought I could be God, Webb. I, it can't be done. The universe is one big zero. <laughs> This isn't going to sound very attractive, but I think you better get something into your stomach. Let's, let's see if you can sit up. Now you've got to get something back into your stomach. All right, I'm Edna Marshall. I was visiting a girlfriend down the hall. We work on the same magazine. What happened to you? I should be dead. I thought for a while there you were really on your way out. I've seen people sick before, but boy. Came to a dead end. The impenetrable dead end. What brought it on? Come on now, try me. Who are you? Just say I'm someone you found on a bad trip. My trip was aborted. Even my suicide was a failure. Why suicide? I can't stand being trapped. How were you trapped? Inside myself, I can't get out. You're headed in the wrong direction. You were trying to go over the wall. That can't be done. But you know, I found a way to go under them. What the hell are you talking about? What kind of drugs were you using? My own creation. I thought it would give me the answer. Do you know the question? What you were looking for doesn't have a chemical formula. How do you know what I'm looking for? It's what we're all looking for. Well, you've had a good nap. How do you feel? Better. Good. You said before that you knew a way under the walls. How? Meditation. Meditation? <laughs> well, you've gone every other direction. Why not try the only one left? Inward. Once you get in touch with yourself, you'll find you'll be able to handle the outside world a whole lot better. You mean that's it? 
I just uh, sit and contemplate my navel and I find the meaning of life. Meditation is the way to get deep. And in the depths you find the meaning. Of course, there are other ways, but um, that one works for me. I'm looking for a breakthrough. I want to find out what's up there or out there. I, I want to explore. You tell me to sit and be quiet. If I wanted that, I would have been a monk, Zen Buddhist or a yogi. <sighs> the man who taught me meditation was a checker in a meat market. Yes, he was a good checker. He was a happy man, and he knew how to love people. You know, he told me a story. One night, a bird, flying along the waterfront, mistook a ship's mast for a tree. The next morning, when he woke up, he found himself far out in the ocean. He panicked, tried to find land. He flew as far north as his wings could carry him, nothing but ocean. Exhausted, almost dead, he made it back to the mast. For the next three days, he flew east, west, south. Ocean, ocean, ocean. Discouraged on the fourth night, he just decided to accept himself as an exile. The next morning when he woke up, he found out that the ship had brought him to a beautiful green island. Don't fight it if you can't win. Just accept defeat and enjoy it. No, not exactly. It's... It's just that you have to stop when you are a human being, not God. The stars, the little black clouds, the walls, they're all inside you. You talked a lot in your sleep. Listen, there are three things you need. A straight spine. Breathe deeply. And a mantra. Mantra. That's the magic word, isn't it? Mantra's like an elevator. It takes you down, puts you in touch with your own depths. Mine has come, Lord Jesus, but everybody has his own. Why Jesus? Because he's God within the walls of our humanity, and he's our way beyond the walls. Listen, why don't you just try meditating for a few minutes? Don't try to do too much. It's a slow process. Try five minutes in the morning and five minutes in the evening. Sort of frames your day. Well, as you say, I have nothing to lose. Okay. Straighten your spine. Breathe deeply through your nose. Free your mind. Don't concentrate, but... Uh, don't try not to concentrate, either. Just repeat the mantra and let your mind go free. Hey, ooh. Hello. Who are you? A friend. Come on in. It's Mark. Hi, Webb. Hey, <laughs> baby. Hey, what's happening? What you got going? It looks crazy already. <laughs> A little meditation. Ooh, wow. You mean the, the yoga jazz? You mean run away from the world and retreat from life? No, just the opposite. Well, would you like to try it? <laughs> Me? <laughs> How about some coffee? Oh, whatever, you know, whatever. Hey, what I, what I really want is some... Oh, that stuff you gave me. I, I'm, I've run out, you know. I think I found a better way. Whatever turns you on, you know. I like the stuff you gave me, you know. It's an illusion, Webb. It doesn't deliver. This works. It's tough, but I, I really think it works. It lets you get close to reality. I'm not there yet, but I will be. What do you do? Just sit in stillness and let the real world flow through. <laughs> hey, he's got religion. He's got religion. Well, whatever you call it. <laughs> It's a deeply religious experience. So big deal, you know. <laughs> so you got all the answers, huh? Lots of luck, baby, you know. Lots and lots of luck, but uh, I want to live, you know. And you develop something that makes it all happen, brings on the, the bright lights and the music. <laughs> you don't need it. Hey, Mark, I need it. 
I need it. So, so give me some more of that stuff you gave me, okay? No, I need it. I, I do. I need it. No. I need it. I'm sorry, Webb. <laughs> okay, okay. I know what I need. I need the essence of martinis and the apotheosis of pot. Where are you off to? Home. Home? I'm sorry, I, I was so concerned about my own problem, I didn't even think. Where is home? 84th Street. Well, what's your family like? Well, my husband, uh, he works in a post office. Does he know you're here? Mm-hmm. He doesn't mind? Well, now, if we don't help each other, there's be no point in living, is there? I think I love you. And I love you. You know, sometimes when you're meditating, you feel, you feel as though you just love the whole world. The room you're sitting in, the air you breathe. I love Gandhi, George Wallace, a fly buzzing in the room. Love is what makes it happen. Oh, you know, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just something you gotta feel. But what do you feel? I mean, where is it leading? Have you been able to see God? No, but you know, sometimes, sometimes I could just feel his presence inside of me. You know, right here in the center of myself. And the friends I love. Not, not all the time, but you gotta be patient. It takes a little while. I'll see you tomorrow. Just be aware of the mantra and the breathing. That whatever comes into the awareness be. Don't edit. Don't control. It's so dark. The darkness frightens me. Let yourself feel the fear. Be the fear. You have the past of the darkness to find the light. The walls are still there. The walls are an enemy's mark. Make friends with them. Love them. I feel so alone. Don't leave me, Edna. Someday I'll have to. Accept that. Feel that loneliness. Be that loneliness. You can only find true love, Mark, through loneliness. It's, it's like death. Yes, I know, but feel the death. Be the death. Go deeper. Deeper. There is nothing deeper than death. It's always the same. It always leads to the same place. I was naive enough to trust you. You're wrong. But no argument's gonna convince you, Mark. Only silence, only uh, accepting disbelief. When you're ready to accept your despair, Mark, you'll find hope. sink. It's dark, man. It's, it's like solitary. Let yourself feel whatever's there, Sam. Go on. It's a rough trip, but it's worth it. Yeah, like, um, eat the blues and you get soul. Let it, baby. Okay. You got scared, too. <laughs> so scared, I quit. You know what got me back to it? This place. 
<laughs> yeah, well, you get your kicks, baby, and I'll get mine, huh? If something's going to save me, it ain't going to be this white man's jail. I sat here in my cell, and out of boredom, I started meditating again. And I found that inside I was free. It didn't matter where I actually was. Your parole papers, Heston. Thank you. Hey, you're going to be missed. Yeah, a lot of you guys say that they won't be able to make it when you're gone. I see you got yourself a new disciple. For as long as he can keep out of solitaire. Yeah, well, don't bleed about me, pig, huh? Uh, can I take a few minutes with the papers? Yeah, whenever you're ready. Warden will see you before you go. How did you feel? Uh, I felt good, man. I felt good. To let Pig come in here. Wouldn't you like to get back to that? Oh, what's that supposed to mean, man? What you want me to do? Sit here and close my eyes and breathe deep, huh? Be a good little boy, say yes, sir, boss, to the pigs. That what you're teaching all them other creeps, huh? To come in here? That how come they don't get their heads busted like the rest of us? You got some kind of deal working with the pigs, man. That's how come you getting out of here. You're not convincing yourself of that. Sam, nothing outside of you can really hurt you. Only what's inside. It's hard to explain. You just have to feel it. Yeah. yeah what good is that going to do me, man? I drew uh, 10 to 20. It's more important how you live your life than where you live it. You're just going to make me love this place, man. No, I didn't say that. But remember how you felt when you were meditating a few minutes ago? Have you ever felt anything like that before? Oh, big deal. A few minutes, you walk out of here and you're in the world again. What's me and the rest of them dudes supposed to do, man? Just, just sit here and breathe ourselves to death. Insight is a production of the Paulist Fathers, a group of Catholic priests who serve their God by serving those outside their church.